Okay, in this lesson, we are going to take a look at getting Maven set up for a JUnit project. So we're going to go through it. We looked at it in this earlier in the course, so if you're comfortable, maybe you want to skip ahead, but I am going to cover the project that we're going to be working with, and then it's setting up the actual Maven dependencies. So just like the uh, previous section, we are using Java 11 or higher. At the time, Java 11 is the highest that, that's out available. I'm not using any language features specific to anything over Java 8, so if you're on Java 8, you'll probably be okay, but I'm going to say that everything's untested because I am running specifically on 11 and configuring Maven and the Maven compiler for 11, so you might run into issues if you're not on Java 11. And I'm also saying Maven 3.5.2 or higher because I am running on 3.5.2. And inside the course resources, you will find a link to this GitHub repository, which you can check out. Right now, this is on the master branch, and this is the empty project. And I'm going to toggle over to IntelliJ now. And this is a project checked out to my local directory, my working directory inside of IntelliJ. And let's take a quick look at what we have going on here. Uh, we have a very simple class, just greeting. We have two methods. We'll play with some tests on setting those up. One returns uh, the string, hello world, classic example. And then we'll, we'll also have one that will return in a uh, hello world with a name and have a name come back from our greeting object. So just really, really simple example for to get our feet wet using JUnit. Now what we want to do here is we need to get Maven set up. So the first thing I'd like to do is come in and add a property. And I'm going to call that JUnit platform version. And at the time of recording, 5.3.1 is the latest release. And if there's something later out, you're probably going to be fine uh, using that. I'm only adding this here to make it easier because when we get to the dependencies, I do this. And there's actually two dependencies we need to be bringing in. One is the JUnit, JUnit Jupyter API. So we want to bring that in. And you can see... IntelliJ is giving me some hints, but I, I want to control these with a environment variable or property, I should say. That's incorrect. And see, that's taking in the JUnit platform version. So this gives us the API. This is going to give us the test annotations. And next, we want to bring in the engine, the Jupyter engine as well. And you can see it defaulted in that, and we don't want that. We want this guy here. And you can see that IntelliJ went out and updated everything. So let's come in and actually do a sync there. Just make sure. And I'm going to do a quick. OK, so here we can see the two dependencies came in there, 531. So that's, that's good. So I'm just going to do test to make sure that we run everything. And this is going to force uh, Maven to run make sure that my palm's okay, which it is. Everything's happy there, so it is resolving those dependencies. So now we've got the dependencies all set up. We need to actually set up the some build plugins. And I'm going to, I have this uh, saved to the clipboard, so I'm going to just paste it in, and then we'll go through it. Let me resize this a little bit. So th this is very important, and you'll see some different things going on out here, uh, out in, if you're looking up JUnit 5 and Maven. Right now, if you're on the Surefire plugin of 2.220 or higher, you're good. You don't have to configure a second or a separate JUnit component. If you're below that, you will. So, But I think everybody can get up to 2.220 2 or higher. So, And then for Java 11, I saw this as something being required. And I want to point out there's two plugins that we want to be looking at. One is the Maven Surefire plugin that is going to run unit test for Maven. And then Maven also has an integration test phase, and that is with the failsafe plugin. And Maven has logic, and we'll get into the specifics of that. But to configure JUnit for running with Maven, the Surefire plugin definitely needs to be set up to that version or higher. If you are on the absolute latest release of Maven, excuse me, the exact release on it. But there is a release that does have the 2.2.0 Surefire and Failsafe plugin that has been 
moved into the latest release of Maven. I'm I'm a little bit behind on mine, and I, I wanted to call this out because a lot of people don't update their local Maven all the time with the latest release versions. So I think it just came out a, a month or so ago, and this is being recorded in October of 2018. So this is very important to set this up, and get these Surefire and Failsafe plugins set up properly. So just to, to recap uh, what we did here is I set up a property for the JUnit platform version. I brought in two dependencies. Actually, one thing I can do here is say scope test. Let's do that. So we definitely don't need JUnit in the, the main context. This will just bring it in. It's a test dependency. So it's only going to be picked up for test running out of the test folder. If you're not familiar with Maven, this is a, the source tree there is the Maven standard directory layout where we have source and we have main and test. And then we have Java and Java underneath both one as well as resources. So that's Maven standard directory layout. We are following that what is under source main Java will ultimately get compiled down and put into a jar where what's under source test Java is just your test and those will not get put into your jar. So we got the two dependencies in there. I added in the test scope for them. And then we have the build plugins. Primarily we are looking at the Surefire plugin and the failsafe plugin, making sure that those are at 2.2. .2 to zero or higher.